unlimited fees and an average debt of £30,000. That is the reality facing millions of future students after a major new report calls for the scrapping of the current cap on tuition fees. The proposals have prompted a strong response, as you'd expect, with lecturers and students' groups describing them as the final nail in the coffin of affordable higher education. Well, this is some of what Lord Brown is recommending. Fees are capped at just over £3,000 a year. At present, that doesn't have to be paid up front. Under the new proposals, that cap will be scrapped and the amount universities can charge will rise to £6,000 a year. That will mean the average student will leave university with £30,000 worth of debt. And previously, they didn't pay that debt off until they earn £15,000 a year. That payment threshold now increased to 21000 Well, Lord Brown says that 20% of graduates with the lowest earnings will pay no more than they do now to go to university, but higher future earners will pay significantly more. Well, earlier, the report's author, Lord Brown, spoke to our political editor, Adam Bolton. Uh, Eamon, Lord Brown, if we boil this down first of all from the point of view of the person thinking about going to university, do your proposals mean that the average student will have to find more from their own pocket to pay for their education? Well, the average graduate will. The student won't have to find anything, and that's really important. So the graduate will have to find more, uh, and how much uh, he or she finds will be a matter of how much he or she earns. Uh, so more successful, the more you pay. Uh, the less successful, the less you pay up, and you pay only what the government's paid for you. I think the estimates are that a, a typical graduate now is left with debts of something in the region of £25,000, something like that. That's right. They've got by about, on average, probably £6,000 or so. So it will cost an average student over 30000 to... Over 30000 that's right. So what, is there any advantage at all? Is it just a question of it costing more? Oh, I think there's a lot of advantage. I think, first of all, uh, not every university is going to put up fees, I, I don't believe. Uh, the universities are a very diverse set of uh, institutions. They do very different things. Some will have to, others won't. Uh, and uh, that will, I believe, keep improving the quality of higher education in England. And that does need to keep improving. Uh, because it's a competitive game and people are improving all over the world. But you are taking the cap off, so the limit now, just above £3,000, you're saying if you are, I don't know, Oxford and you're teaching medicine, you could charge 12000 or more? Uh, well, medicine's a very special subject, very, very expensive subjects. The government's going to pay for the difference for that, and they'll continue to do that, because it's out of the question to bear the full cost of that. But there's a cap. Uh, a soft cap at £7,000, whereby if a, if a university wants to charge more, they need to satisfy the new regulator we're putting in place that they're doing the right thing in allowing fair access to their university and that they're improving the student experience. So these are hard tests uh, at £7,000. The other thing is that as the universities charge more above 6000 they have to pay a levy back to the government. Uh, to take into account the risks that uh, the government's take, undertaking lending all this money. And what, what about the poor student from the poor background? We're already hearing Labour politicians mm -hmm. saying it'll cost more, this will discourage them from going to well, university. Well, actually, it'll cost less uh, because we're giving a bigger maintenance grant to people from low-income low households. So at the point of entry, uh, low-income households are getting more money from the government to live on uh, that's important. And when they graduate and when they have to pay back the money, uh, the lowest 20% of earners pay less than they do today. They pay less than they do today. So uh, how much would you get if, if, if you have uh, come from a poor background, you, you can't get, afford... You get £7,000. Uh, you get uh, just slightly under half uh, as a grant, cash grant, yeah. and half as a loan. So you wouldn't have to pay back half of it? You wouldn't have to pay back half of it. Now, obviously, we all know the government is squeezing public spending, taxpayer spending at the moment. Is this really, in the end, even if it's not your intention, simply students from their own pockets or graduates from their own pockets will have to make up the shortfall that will no longer come from central government? Well, I don't know how much the government needs to pull out, as it were, of these budgets. But this is designed to be more sustainable for the future. So the graduate and the government paying, pro bearing a proportion uh, of the total cost. The government probably paying less. Government paying less, because they're paying virtually all of it now. So uh, the student will pay a bit more. And the reason why the government's paying virtually all of it now is 
not only do they lend uh, students money, which is paid back on graduation, they don't have to pay any interest on it, and that means that uh, the amounts get devalued. If you are sort of robbing Peter to pay Paul effectively, then presumably that means the universities themselves won't really benefit. They'll just get their existing funds from different sources. Uh, no, they will be able to get more money if they really can justify it and they need it. They can get more money. Do we need more people going to university in this country? I personally think we do. Uh, we're recommending in this uh, report that we allow a 10% increase in the number of students over the next three to four years. Uh, and the reason I say that is, uh, you know, a, a, a country which is better educated is one which is more successful. Got to put it to you, the Labour government uh, asked you to do this report. Now in opposition, the Labour Party appear to be saying, Lord Brown has got it wrong, it shouldn't be about fees, it should be about a graduate tax with people who earn more paying more. What's wrong with that? Well, we studied graduate tax, it doesn't work. Uh, basically, it costs too much money, uh, it takes forever to get the taxes uh, coming in uh, and it's basically unfair. It allows people to pay huge amounts of money compared with the cost of what they've actually uh, undertaken as education. So can you take us through, the, as it were, the lifetime of the typical person going to university sure. now from an average background? How much would they be paying and when? So you go in, you get your uh, maintenance grant and loan, 7,000 say a year. Uh, you don't pay a thing, you graduate, then you have to earn more than £21,000 a year and that's incidentally inflated with wages. So at the end of 30 years, someone asked me, that'll be £75,000. So you, you pay, if you earn more than that, you begin to pay back a little bit. So £25,000 you're paying, uh, for I think it's £7 a week, uh, back uh, uh, as repayment. So you pay a little bit back uh, year by year. And, and if you get a swish job in the city, I don't know, starting out, some people do now, £50,000 a year or You'll whatever. You'll pay back uh, pretty quickly, uh, and uh, you, you, as you should. You know, the successful will pay back quickly, uh, and they'll pay back the whole amount. But if you're pay, as I said, if you're earning, if you're the 20% of bottom earners, you're not going to pay back as much as you, you get, nothing like. And I think you've got to be more than 50% of the earners only pay back 50% of their loans. Obviously you want this to be adopted. What do you say now to politicians who are thinking about opposing this because they think it's unfair? Well, we were set up independently, so this is an independent review. Uh, and we have no, no part in the politics. But this is designed to make a system that lasts, that lasts, that increases quality, and allows participation to go up. And I believe we've satisfied those criteria. Noel Brown, I know you're making a presentation to all the party leaders in a few minutes' time. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.